On game days, CU's Folsom Field can hold over 53,000 fans. In a city that can easily see temperatures reach the mid-80s during the fall, keeping hydrated is important. One problem? It seems kind of ridiculous that you have a football game with 50,000 people and the water fountains don't work. I'm standing here at gate 12 at the north end of Folsom Field, but neither one of these water fountains works. So to get the next free source of water, the nearest water fountain is seven gates that way, the length of the stadium, and you pass 22 concession stands. Is this just a coincidence or some type of concession conspiracy? According to the university, the drinking fountain has most likely been shut off due to pipe issues at the stadium. Security personnel working at the games know of the broken fountain, and yet eight weeks into the season, it still has not been fixed. It's, it's interesting that the, the water fountain hasn't worked, but they're charging $4 a bottle at the concession stand. Bottle of water here, soda. Fans who don't know of the drinking fountain at the opposite end of the stadium can end up shelling out nearly $4 for a bottled water. Pretty expensive, <laughs> out of sight, yeah. But, you know, it's kind of like movie popcorn in a movie. Location, location, location. Until the university fixes the broken fountains on the northeast side of the stadium, fans are forced to use the water fountain located on the southeast end between gates 6 and 7. There are also water fountain carts in the very front of the stadium. Katie Rowan, News Team Boulder.